know I got cold meats in the car. I really shouldn't be messing around with the vlog angles, but here we are. morning weightlifting before but it's kind of fun I have a complex of two cleans two front squats and two jerks uh, then I've got just some snatch lift off and snatch pull followed by some gymnastics strict muscle up handstand hold and a quick little 10 minute EMOM and that's gonna be the morning session uh, the evening session I'm gonna put it right here because it's uh yikes that's all I gotta say for that but that's for later so right now we just got some weightlifting gymnastics and I'm excited it's feeling good so far in the corner. I am going to try to accumulate uh, two minutes of a freestanding handstand hold followed by uh, five sets of 50 foot walk I think. Yeah five sets of 50 foot walk and then my imam and I'm done for the morning. Got back from the gym check it out barbecue chicken in the crock pot i put a little bit of extra trader joe's um, barbecue seasoning in this today but this was perfect because it cooked while i was at the gym and now i can make my lunch before my uh facial hi there how's your belly doing oh it's okay so before i go and take a shower and just change and everything i'm gonna shred up this chicken because i am gonna have this for lunch and something i was thinking about as i was coming up with the title of this video for today and kind of what i wanted to talk to you guys about was micros and i realized that i've actually never made a video on my channel about micronutrients or talked about um how to make sure that you're getting proper micronutrients how do we even know if you're tracking them? And so I just kind of figured I would talk through some of the things that I personally do and also show 
you in my fitness pal how you can sort your day um, based on which micronutrients you have the most of and which you have the least of and then kind of apply that to your own goals. So you guys know I already plan my days out in advance, right? When I go to the bottom of your diary page, there's a little pie chart here that says nutrition. You just click that and there's three tabs at the top, calories, nutrients, and macros. The macros one, you can sort by highest in carbohydrates, highest in fat, highest in protein. But if you go to the nutrients section and you scroll down, here's where you'll see your micronutrients. You have cholesterol, sodium, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron. I don't necessarily have like specific goals for these. This is just what's in my fitness pal. But if you click on each individual micro, it will tell you which foods you ate during the day um, that were highest in each specific micronutrient. So for cholesterol today, the egg that I had, the chicken, lean ground meatballs, the protein, and then the turkey bacon that I had with my breakfast this morning. And you can go through and do this literally with every single micronutrient as well as macronutrients. Today for potassium, I'm a little bit lower than normal, but good thing Japanese sweet potatoes have a lot of potassium in them. That's kind of why I take the time to you know, swap out different things because I could have put this chicken on bread or something like that. And while there's nothing wrong with that, it's just a better way to sneak in some extra micronutrients. Um, and I'm also gonna throw some broccoli saw in there. <laughs> Why am I so out of breath? For the Japanese sweet potatoes that I have prepped and I'm gonna pop them in the toaster. I put the chicken in there. I'm gonna put four ounces uh, onto my plate so I can assemble my sweet potato toast. I'm gonna do a little bit of this guacamole to keep the broccoli slaw on, just like this. Then I'm gonna assemble my chicken. There we have it, a super easy lunch, sweet potato toast with shredded chicken and cheese. And you know, you can click on each individual thing as well. I'm sure you guys know this and see what kind of micronutrients it has. Something that a lot of people do, especially when they're just getting started in macros is kind of like tunnel vision on the macros, right? And they're only thinking about protein, carbs, and fats, but the quality of our food is also really important as well as your micronutrients and other things that affect your body in other ways like sodium, which we'll talk more about later in the video, but for now I have to eat this and rush out because it's time for my facial. Um, and I'm excited to talk to you guys about that as well because I'm getting microneedling done today on my face, kind of nervous, uh, but I'll keep you guys updated and I'll see you there. Okay, whew. my face is like, a, oh, so much just happened. I ended up not getting the microneedling. Um, Katerina, my facial girl, she's been doing my facials for a long time. She said I really didn't need it today. She would have rather focused on like what my actual issues are with my skin. And during the summer months, I think I've mentioned this in videos before, like my forehead and my T-zone gets so congested because I sweat so much from being in and out of the gym all day. I just get very congested. And so we ended up just doing a deep, pore cleansing facial with microdermabrasion and then she also did some derma planning as well because I haven't gotten it since the last time that I told you guys which was like three months ago. So my face is kind of looking a little beat up right now but it is three o'clock so I'm going to head to conveniently the Whole Foods and Trader Joe's parking lot because it is right around the corner and just get a couple of things that I need for the week, prep my snack and then hit the gym for that stupid AMRAP that I have and then the day will be done. This is my list for Whole Foods. Chicken thighs, ketchup, microgreens, and yogurt. Do we think that I can just get the four things? Stay tuned. I actually forgot to add the um, Japanese sweet potatoes. I almost only got what was on my list. This is the only extra because I saw this on somebody's Instagram and I wanted to see what the hype was about because vanilla shortbread sounds good. So that's pretty decent. I got everything that was on the list. Now time for Trader Joe's. Quick Whole Foods haul. Japanese sweet potatoes, Siggy's yogurt, micro greens, chicken size. I got the value pack this time so I didn't have to go back. My perfect bars were on sale. They were actually on the list. They were just on the Trader Joe's list. And then this that I showed you guys in Primal Kitchen ketchup. Actually, I just really didn't do that bad. Um, I've been looking for new toppers for like my smoothie bowls and stuff. And you guys know I love sweet and salty. So I got these granola bars, these peanut butter oat bars. They have pretty decent macros. Four grams of fat, 24 carbon, three protein, so not bad. 
And this one has even less fat, 3.5, 24 carb, and two protein. Then these guys, I got some apple cranberry quinoa salad, some kale, these butternut zigzags, those are really good fat-free feta cheese crumbles. And then my friend Brittany recommended that I get these because uh, she knows I like the almond poppy seed, uh, what are they, Kodiak cake pancakes. So she said these have a very similar taste, obviously, because they're almond cookies. And then almond cashew macadamia nut and the spicy cheese crunchies that I mentioned in the video, my favorites video with that bowl, colorful bowl, that was what was on top of them. And yeah. That's Trader Joe's haul for you. I feel like anytime I sit down on my computer and eat my snack, I'm about to like have a serious talk. <laughs> so like I was saying earlier in the video today, a lot of times when people track macros, they get what I call like tunnel vision with their macros and they just obsess over only those three numbers. And obviously when you're starting and you're first learning to track, there's like that time period where you're learning specifically about the foods that you're eating and you know their macronutrient breakdown and things like that. But I think that the more you get into your journey, whether it's for weight loss or muscle building, whatever the case may be for you, I think it's a good idea to also pay attention to the micronutrients and what types of foods have which types of micronutrients so that you know for your specific goals what you either need to eat more of or what you need to eat less of. In my personal uh, experience having IBS and recently been diagnosed with GERD, which to be honest with you guys, I really don't know too much about that. I've just always had issues with high sodium. Anytime I would have ever gone out to eat, and I know that this is, uh, this was a question asked on my last favorites video about why I never go out to eat. Anytime you go to a place or you buy good foods, the reason why it's so good is because most times it's covered with butters and oils and salt and MSG and things like that. Like the reason why Chinese food tastes so good is because it's so salty, full of MSG and sodium. Uh, and it's just one of those like comfort foods. When you cut those type of things out for long periods of time, and in my case, that was because of my stomach issues. If I have something like that, my body just is like, whoa. And that's just not me. A lot of people, uh, I mean, it's normal to get bloated from sodium, right? Um, sodium just causes more water retention, salt, sodium chloride, that's just what it does. So a lot of people, uh, when they're super focused on their macros, they'll have hit their macros all week, just gonna use a, you know, a client example. They check in with me and their weight for the past three days has gone up and they're freaking out because they hit their macros and they did everything perfectly and blah, blah, blah. And then I just look at their sodium and for whatever reason, you know, their sodium was like double or triple what they usually eat. And it may not even be something that you notice. It may be disguised as a quote unquote healthy food or a macro friendly food, uh, but it can definitely spike your sodium levels, which then causes an increase on the scale. Doesn't mean that you're gaining fat, but it's just water retention that causes you to weigh in heavier. So it's important to like pay attention to those things and how certain specific foods or micronutrients like sodium affect you personally. And I just think it's a good idea in general to learn about that because you know, you're eating things on the daily and you might not know that something you're consuming has an ungodly amount of sodium for no specific reason. I know a lot of people are gonna ask, you know, like, oh, is eating sodium bad for you? Obviously everything in moderation. A typical rule of thumb that I tell my clients is whatever calorie amount that you're eating, try to keep the sodium milligrams at that level. So if you eat 2000 calories a day, try to keep your sodium underneath 2000 milligrams. There's been studies that show that higher sodium diets can correlate to higher blood pressure. And that's just because sodium dilutes the blood's volume, which then puts pressure on the heart. So you know, not, not if you just have one slice of pizza or eat a Chinese food meal, you know, I'm talking like consistent high sodium diets over very, very long periods of time, which is also correlated with obesity and things like that. So there's a mix of things and uh, health problems that kind of all like coincide with each other, you know? Overall, I think if you're staying super hydrated, I personally drink two of those uh, 50 milliliter bottles a day then plus whatever's in my BCAAs or any other extra water that I drink. Because your pee is clear, that's why I tell clients there's no like magic amount because everyone's different. Some people sweat more than others so they're releasing more of the sodium and the water so they'll need more water in turn. But it's just good to pay attention to your body and know what works for you. And some clients they'll notice when they're low in potassium or they're low in iron and they feel really tired. So you know I always say like go through your MyFitnessPal, sort it how I showed you guys earlier in the video 
try to find some more fun ways to sneak in some extra veggies. I think a great way to do that is also when you're making smoothies, just throw a handful of spinach in there or throw a handful of kale. If you have other sweet things in there like bananas or berries and protein powder, you're not even gonna taste it. And just kind of like keeping an eye on it. You don't have to track your micronutrients to a T, but paying attention to it can be very beneficial if you're somebody that is super cautious about the scale and you're not sure why the scale suddenly spiked up, it could be from sodium. Another good thing to point out too is your fiber intake. A lot of times people who don't eat a lot of vegetables, uh, they get constipated throughout the week. They're just not eating enough fiber to move things along, you know? So that's another benefit of paying attention to your micronutrients. I just personally like to be more cautious with my body partially because of my stomach issues, partially because that's what I do for a living. I've had clients that told me that they didn't know that sodium causes water retention or bloating. Even just feeling sluggish, right? Like you've ever gone on vacation and you eat like crap for a week straight, you come back and you feel like so exhausted. And it's, it's amazing. Like the food that we put in our body truly, truly has an impact on how mentally we feel, emotionally, physically, so many different things. So that is why I personally think you should broaden your horizons and not just focus on the macros, but the micros too. With that being said, my toast is done. I am going to let this digest. I have to do some homework, some client check-ins, and then I'm gonna hit the gym. So let me know in the comments section below, do you personally track your micronutrients? Are you just a macro only? Do you eat vegetables? Do you not eat vegetables? Do you have a hard time eating vegetables? Let me know. So thank you guys so much as always for listening to my rambles and watching my videos. I love you so very much, and I'll see you in my next video.